Reclaim your confidence with STL Medical Weight Loss. Are you tired of endless dieting and minimal results at the gym? STL Medical Weight Loss offers a revolutionary program. With their highly effective injectable peptides, these medications have been approved by the FDA for weight loss, and you can lose 20 to 30 pounds in 90 days. Their telemedicine service delivers the medication right to your door, so you have privacy and convenience. Obesity rates are climbing in America. One in two Americans suffers from this problem. So call STL Medical Weight Loss at 636-628-6604 to book your consultation. And mention Tanya and you will get $200 off your first two months. That's 636-628-6604 to book your first consultation. Mention my name, Tanya, and you will get $200 off your first two months. The website is stlmedweightloss.com. Hi, welcome to One Date to Love. Today, my guests are Don Diamond and his wife, Cindy Ambul Diamond. I'm so excited to have them. Hi! We're excited to be here. I'm so happy to have you. you. I really am so happy to have you. I mean, I've watched you on television forever and I watched that show so I really do watch it and I think you're fantastic well, thank you I you know that. you've done a great job on there you must have like he must have girls coming out his ears he does yeah he does. <laughs> I only have one girl coming out. I know I know and that matters. you wouldn't believe how incredible he is with you with talking to me he gives you so much credit for everything I had another couple on earlier Frank um, and his wife and uh, Decopolis and, uh-huh. and 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 his wife Taya Anderson and 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 Sean does the same thing. Sean Kanan does does the same thing. He gives his wife so much credit, Michelle, for so. We're many. all smart. You are so <laughs> smart. Happy wife. Oh my Happy God! Wife. The three of you ought to get together and write a book <laughs> about how to keep your wife happy. Happy wife, happy life. Right? I'm serious. I mean, it's amazing to me because it's it's so um it's kind of unusual, especially for actors. It's or strong men. Sometimes they just kind of forget how much they get from you. It's true. You know? It's I mean, true. I, she is my and our family's rock. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Um, somebody was telling me that they thought you got your relationship was uh, old-fashioned or normal. Cindy Gross. She said, they're normal. And I said, what is normal? Describe n- us what as is normal, normal or normal? themselves? I said, they've got seven no, kids. I would, I would absolutely agree with You've got six that. boys. Oh, us as normal. I, I would absolutely agree with that. That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. You've got six boys? Yes. yes. And another one? We have six boys. We have a grandson on the way. Right. Okay. And we have two daughters-in-law. Oh, dad, the daughters-in-law. I want to hear about that. Yeah. The fact that you're getting some people, some of these, getting some girls. Some of these kids married off. Yeah. She counts. Yeah. She counts already. Yeah, she already sure. counts. Wow. She's been around for five years and she's That's a long right. time. Amazing. She gets a daughter-in-law. She gets props. Yeah, absolutely. They're so engaged. That's why. Which one, which boy has her? Has the, the, the baby coming? The one that you think has been around for the life. eldest. And what's his name? Lauren. 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 Yeah. Wow. So he's his fiance is Nicole. Yeah, and they're great. So you're into this. And then this. Alexander, the 28 year old, will be 29 in February, also has uh, our first grandchild coming, grandson coming. Married wow. a year. Wow. Married a year and a half. We wow. threw the wedding. Had you a have really any for my time. girls? I mean, I'm sure they're really gorgeous boys. I mean, I have a 23 year, 24 year old now and 25 year old. Well, we have twins that are 21. Well, they'll be 21 next week. Okay. We'll have to take a look. Mm-hmm. We'll have to take a we'll look. To, I'll we'll send you my photos. We'll have to talk and, about yeah. It. Uh-huh. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. And they all went to college? Yeah. No wonder you work so hard, honey. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Well, Thankfully, three of them got scholarships, football scholarships. Oh, so that's cool. Thank goodness. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. My daughter went to SMU. I'm going to be paying for that until I die and after, probably, if there is such a thing. I think you get out of taxes and death. That's the only thing you have to do. But I don't think you get out of college no matter what, no matter what happens. I don't think you do either. Yeah. But I, my husband and I went down there to help her find the school. And we were so impressed with the morals of the kids in Texas, to be honest. Sure. Um, and and some of the positions that they have on different things that that he just said she can go here and I was like cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. 
but I'm glad that she. But with the daughter, it's so important. I mean, it's important with sons as well that they're placed in an environment where they're going to thrive. Right. But with a daughter, I mean, it really matters that they're surrounded by people that you feel she's going to be safe, safe, looked out after. We always say, if we had a daughter, we don't know what we would do. Now that we've raised all these oh, boys, I would be Ray Donovan. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you baseball I would, I, Yeah, I would, I watched I would, some I of these girls dress too, and he would be like, "You are not leaving this house." I and know. Be, so in that way, yeah, we are old fashioned. Yeah, right? I am too. I am too. My kids have class, and they're good people, and um, and they're very family oriented people, and nice. they are very. They click with their friends, and they stay friends with their friends, and they make time for their friends. And, um, that says a lot to me. That says a lot. Yeah, Ed and I had long-term friends, and um, and I still do. So, yeah, I think that's really incredibly important. So tell me what's going on on Bold and the Beautiful that you're allowed to share. I'm allowed to share. Uh, <laughs> Bill has, has entered into a romance with, uh, well, it, it, it was a one-nighter from his past, but a very in, intense Ah. Uh, Unforgettable night of love. Intense there you go. experience. And, uh, uh, well, she has uh, come back into his life. And uh, so, Is this an actress I know? I don't think her name is Romy Park. Yeah, you you may or may not yeah. know her, but she's doing a wonderful job. Awesome. She's a terrific, terrific person, terrific actress. And, uh, yeah, this is going to create um, some complications, I have no doubt. Well, that's what it's all about, that's right? What we do. Can't have the soap without that's the drama. That's what we do. That's right. That's what we and do. did you go to Italy and get bombarded like so many of us? We're big in Italy. Yes. Even I'm big in Italy from a show I did in the early '80s, Capital. Like, Huge. Well, yeah, uh, B and B is still. It's, it's I know. A, it's an iconic show there. I know. And it's it's a, and, and what's amazing about it, I did um, uh, Bellando con la Stelle, which is Dancing with the Stars, uh, Italy. And, I bet that uh, was fun. It was a lot. It was fun. It was a lot of work. It was fun though, but a lot of work. And I was, was accomplished. I had to fly you. back and forth because I was in pretty heavy story. I was a very actually heavy story at that time. No yeah, it was way. Crazy. That's so hard it to was do. Crazy. But the point of that is, is I was just amazed by how generational it is. I mean, still teenagers mm. in groups running up to me. Which is amazing. I mean, it really is passed on. So you have the nonas, the grandmothers, mm -hmm. all the way down to uh, that's to how it was in my family. To these children and and uh, male and female, it's just amazing. Yeah. My grandmother so, yeah. watched General Hospital. Mm -hmm. My mother watched all the ones on uh, CBS. So I did too. So I started watching on the rest was when it was first on, when we had the original set. <laughs> yeah, I really loved it. I really loved it. Jamie Jamie was on. Jamie Bauer, I think, is her name. Wonderful, wonderful. I mean, so many good actors. And then they went on to do other things, and then they had new people. But it's still got some of the old people that were there. Oh, yeah, you many. Know? And I, I think that's really important many. for people to see people that they You bet. That's you know? what we do, yeah. Um, so many of these shows I've turned on, I don't even know who these people are. Like, for 10 or 15 minutes, I don't yeah. know anybody. It's really, it's really a familial experience for for fans. You, I don't you, like you it really when do. I don't know who the people yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like 10 or 15 minutes, way. you know, mm -hmm. except the people that hire the people. They don't seem to care. And they do on your show, they do. But I on think, a lot of them, they, they I have I think Brad it. has done a really good job. Me too. Uh, on, on, like, on the show still looks the same. You got a few people. Fusing the new people. Right, but it's really, some of these, they just don't. They just don't have that. And so I'm glad for you guys. And I love your all show. You know, Thank you. I think it's fantastic. And I think it's fun. I like all the fashion. And Kimberlyn lived with me when she first went back. Oh, really? She was my roommate in L.A. And um, that was just a couple of years ago. And um, I would say, can I run lines with you? I'll, I'll be happy to run lines with you. And she'd be like, no, I've got it. I was like, that's so weird. Why does she think? <laughs> and then I'd say, well, you know, I'm. I could do this. We were nominated together in 1994. We're best yeah. actress, blah, blah, blah. We can, yeah. we can. She goes, well, I'm, I'm just not really allowed to have anybody see the script. Oh, uh, my God. Hmm. Be Interesting. So then I said, do you really think I care? What's this? Yeah, right? <laughs> right? Who am I going to tell? I'm
Yeah. I mean, I'm a professional. I don't do that. Well, if she studied but, those lines all by herself, yes, yeah, she did. She did an amazing job she because did. she's very, very good. I know at what she does. I know. We yeah, both play terrible yeah. people. We do it so well. You yeah, know, it's our favorite thing to do. Yeah, it is the fun. You get all that out, so then yeah. you can be a nice person the rest of the time in your life. You know, it's a nice thing. Um, I'm really interested in this blended family thing because I, when I got married, um, I had never been married before, and I was 37, and um, my husband died five years ago, which is really sad. We talked uh, about that. I'm yeah, sure. sorry I, to hear that. Uh, yeah, me too. And so one of the things I'm, I'm. One of the reasons I wanted to do this show is because so many funny things have happened to me as a result of being on these apps. I mean, these apps Dating apps. today I, I assumed. are just like ridiculous. And my sister is going to be here later. She met her fiance on Millionaire Match. And so she told them about me and they asked me to be on there. So I'm on there. And, you know, hardly anybody's a millionaire. Um, <laughs> but I. In their own mind. <laughs> Uh, with, dollar match to this, it to dollar this match. It, it, it's like this if you have a house at all at all yeah and a 401k at all you're a millionaire, yeah, you're you're a millionaire, millionaire. which doesn't take you too far no. anymore so they should have multi-millionaire match <laughs> you know, they don't they don't no. so anyway so i didn't go on it for that reason i just wanted to find somebody that would um that would be i thought that somebody that was more economically there would have good manners, would have, um, you know, would be honest, would be, I, I was wrong on many, on many levels. Yeah. I was, I was wrong. So I came up with some really funny scenes and scenarios that I thought would be really fun for a sitcom because I really thought my life was a sitcom. And, um, and at the same time, I thought it might be even more fun to find out what people that are happy are doing to stay happy and how they're, how they're, what are their struggles and how are they getting through them? And um, especially in a situation like this with this guy and you've got 12,000 women that are going, you know, um, not that you're the Beatles, but, you know. Um, so I just think it's funny that, that, that you don't have any problems with that. My husband um, was on the other, the shoe was on the other foot in that in that relationship. And I just told him, I said, I'm never with anybody that I find attractive. And I wasn't. Mm -hmm. um, I loved Tom Christopher as a human being. Um, but there was, it was more of a friendship than anything else. And then the other person I worked with, I liked very much as a person, but he was about 30 years, 40 years older than I was. So they won't put me with anybody that I can get in trouble with. Um, <laughs> What fun is it? I know, but they just won't do it. Just doesn't happen. Um, it doesn't have any significance to me. I mean, doing this a long yeah, me too. That's what I told time. him. I told and him. I have the greatest wife in the world. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Care. It's almost like you turn into anything. a different person. See, that is why I don't have a problem with it. I know that That's because right. I know my husband. Yeah, I know what we have. Yeah, and I was actually with Luca yesterday, our son who flew back this morning, and. We had a conversation about how much we like his new girlfriend. That's that so nice. I see he, it's bringing out the best in him and the whole thing. And I said, it's like your dad and I. I said, we are built on trust. We have we don't keep secrets from each other. We don't lie to each other. We trust. He can pick up my phone and go through it any time, which he has because he's planned a surprise party for me before and had to go through. There's nothing to hide. It is just pure truth and trust. I think that's the main thing. Yeah, you have to and have. so he goes to work and he has a I job. I don't do anything to compromise. Of no. course. But so of he course. goes to work and he does his oh, job I get that and me. he does it well and I know he comes home to me and I know there's nothing going on. Yeah. And tell you a funny story when the boys were younger. I okay. knew you were going to just <laughs> I want to hear, I want to hear. The boys were younger. Whatever <laughs> love scenes I, you know, whatever love scenes I had to do. So she enjoyed some, in, some in, in, in depth love scenes, yeah. okay, as you know, on a soap, yeah, a, you know, pretty yeah. intense love scene. Yeah. So the boys are all, and I knew she was going to do this because right? she <laughs> likes to freeze, like she would freeze it on the kiss. Like freeze <laughs> you it. Did? She goes, look, you guys, we have mommy a goes to work and has to do her twenty four seven real estate. It would daddy goes to work. <laughs> this is what he's framing it it's right in the middle of a, a passionate kiss. So I knew she was going to do this. When the kids got home, that she was going to. 
Yeah. He's gonna, I'm going to show this to Ken. See how hard he's working. So yeah. I had already trained the boys. They, Look we what already, did. We, I set her up with these when they were little. Little. So she does this. And after she says, so what do you guys think? Huh? This is what daddy goes to work. <laughs> well, no, no, no. And, so you walk in from work. He yeah. walks in and I have it frozen and they're all on the sofa and I'm joking, right? I'm, but I'm like this. I said, so the boys and I want to know how your day at work was. Oh, and I, I was just. Because my day was this and this is what daddy did. I did it then, but this is what you're. And. So the boys. All ready for all, it and I didn't all know. All set up. They turn and go, mommy, a brother got to get paid. <laughs> And they were five, oh, six. Oh, so cute. Mommy, a brother's got to get Good paid. <laughs> it was really cute. I, I look at them. Like, what? what did you say? He hits the floor laughing. I haven't, fr haven't yeah. freeze-framed a kiss since. Oh, that's so good. That's so we good. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it'd be fun to go to some football games. I'd love to oh. know what. Oh, we do a lot. We have done a lot of that for many years. I'm a big many football years. fan. Are you? Oh my God! College you can't or believe. pro? Both. Pro mostly. College some, but I just I just love football. My daddy was a football coach. Oh. Um, when I was three years old, I was the mascot. They used to hold me up in the air, um, and then he became you know a doctor. But 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 my my real memories of loving football were on the field with the cheerleaders. I was the mascot with them and I loved it. And then he would have all the boys over um, and they'd sit around the living room and we always had college kids over or, or high school kids over from my dad. They um, all come I don't know how many, I, I don't, I really don't. I've totally lost track how many years it's been that we are gone. Well, the, I mean, there was first the whole high school, of course. Uh -huh. I, well, well, then, well, I mean, they played their whole lives. Yeah. Alexander's but, almost 29 and yeah. since he was five, he's been playing. Right, right. But yeah. I mean, college-wise, I mean, we did all he through all the pop Warner, all the high school. Two thousand. I mean, college-wise, we've been gone every August every, through December since two thousand. Yeah, like last weekend of August or first week in September through the last weekend of How ten fun. years November, and then ten if there's years. a bowl game, then we got. That's great. Um, so, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. That's great. Well, it's I'm, exhausting. I'm, I'm from Baltimore too. That's yeah. where my actually went to school and college and stuff. So great. I'm very excited about the race. The Rising yeah. Station, yeah. a Raven fan. I'm very excited about that. But I'm also, I was, I was a football fan, like I said, when I was little. And I would be watching the Dolphins, and my dad would say, Why are you watching the Dolphins? And I said, Because I like him. I like Dan Marino. Dan Marino. And, and then I think I, I watched it. Dan Marino. Yeah, I loved him. And then San Francisco 49ers. Why are you watching okay. the San Francisco 49ers? Oh, yeah. Joe Montana. Just like. And so um, one time I wrote a, 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 a video because we had those VHS tapes. And I wrote a story about that called Love That Football, The Football Widow's Cure, A Way to Have Romantic Sunday Afternoons and Monday Nights with Your Mate. Oh, I love that. And we only had football on mm -hmm. Monday nights and Sunday. Sunday and Monday yeah. nights. Um, right. So I sang the national anthem at the quarterback club dinner in D.C. Because people finally find out that I love to do this. They set things up like that. And I met Boomer Esiason. And I had lived in Cincinnati for five minutes. So I talked to him, and uh, and he, I said, you know, I've got this thing. And he said, I'll sit down and talk to you about that. I said, great. I want all the hot quarterbacks to explain to all the women at home what all the players do in all these different positions. He said, I think that's a wonderful idea, actually. So I sat and talked to him. He said, you're going to have to meet Frank Vuno. And I said, great. So he set that up. I met with Frank. I got past that. Then I went to Steve Sable, and then Steve Sable said, you can't do this. I said, why? He goes, I think we've done something like this before. I said, no, you haven't. He said, well, I think Marriott Hartley and Cher did something for us. And, you know, and I said, no, they didn't do the same thing, but he wouldn't let me do it because they, mm. uh, they own all the NFL, mm. every, oh, every yeah. uniform, NFL every thing, name, every, everything. Yeah. You forget about it. Yeah. So, but that was my, really, I loved that idea so much. Because, a great idea. But I really came up with that because I was the girl in Connecticut with the fireplace in the house, and all my friends would come over, and I was single, mm -hmm. and we'd all watch football together all the time, the big yeah. fire. Yeah, I love that. So, you know, they would say, well, what's he doing, and what's he doing, and what's a nickel defense, or what's a nickel offense, or what's better? And I'm like, well, this is what they're doing, and this is, you know, this formation and that formation. And Coach's daughter. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. I really did, so I still do. Now I live in Palm Desert, and I've never liked hockey, and we have a Killer hockey team. 
It's the hockey Palm team. Palm Desert? Palm Desert. Coachella Valley Firebirds. They're the feeder team for the Seattle Kraken. Ah, okay. And you've huh. never seen a community come together. Wow, that's amazing. I love Com- that. The community's coming together like you can't believe. Well, Vegas is huge. For yeah. The, the Knights, right? Yeah. Yeah, but this is this is this no, no, we won. No, no, we know. won last yeah. year, first year out. We won the, the Vegas championship. Night. The Vegas has won a couple times. Yeah, well, this was this is pumped the Coachella Valley Firebirds, and that's it's really really fun, and I really really like it. So, but all those men are too old for me, so or too young for me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've I loved loved having you here, and I'm so grateful that Kimberlyn was able to put this together for us. Let's do it. I truly think you're going to be an inspiration to a lot of people. I really do. Um, there's so many beautiful things about your relationship, about your children, about your love for one another, about your support of of her, making sure everybody knows. Luckiest man alive. And that's that's the right thing to say. I do think you should look into Sean, and. Frank, and write that book about how to make that woman the most important person in your life. And you already know. So that'd be a quick, quick book It would book be so you. easy for you to write. Yeah, it would. It would. You would just write it from the heart. Exactly. And that's how they are, too. Yeah. I really think that would be a hit. If it is, I get 10%. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>